Planning a memorable date. 1. Check out a sports game. Dates that incorporate a shared interest or passion are an amazing way to see one another in your element. While also creating a memory together. Says psychologist and sex therapist Megan Fleming. PhD. 2. Tour a brewery. More a brewski babe than a wine taster? Invite your date to explore your fave, or a new brewery with you. Breweries usually allow you to order a flight of different beers, which can be a fun bonding experience, says Fleming. Another perk of breweries is that the people watching is usually great. 3. Go on a run together. Air. Jog. If you both put Marathoner in your dating app profile, why not use your shared love of lacing up by hitting your local running path together? Just be sure to make a pact ahead of time that you're not gonna sprint. After all, if you're breathing too heavy, you won't be able to learn more about one another. This content is imported from Poll. You may be able to find the same content in another format. Or you may be able to find more information at their website. When did you get into running? And what races are on your running bucket list? Are great starter convos. 4. Go thrifting. Sustainability is sexy. Get thrifty and head to the antique shops with your date. It's also a fun way to get a feel for your date's fashion sense. 5. Make fancy cocktails or mocktails together. Get in the kitchen and whip up some yummy cocktails or mocktails. If that's your thing. Together. You'll get a sense of your date's sense of creativity and taste in drinks. Of course. Whether someone likes vodka or tequila more can say a lot about a person. 6. Hit up a coffee shop. Okay. Okay. It's not the most creative idea on the list. But a coffee shop really does make a good first date. There's a natural ending to a coffee date. When you finish your first cup you can decide to leave or extend the date. Says Fleming. Remember, the point of the first date is to get a sense of whether or not this is someone you'd have interest in getting to know further. It doesn't have to be a marathon date to be a good date. 7. Take a pottery class. Recreate that steamy moment in Ghost and check out a pottery class with your date, as long as they're okay with getting their hands a little dirty. If Neither of you have been to a pottery class before. Don't worry. Trying new things with your date can be a great way to bond. Says relationship expert and therapist Terry Orbach. PhD. Author of Finding Love Again. Six Simple Steps to a New and Happy Relationship. 8. Go to a drag show. Hey queer folks. This one is for you. Grab the hottie you met on Lex or the ex-girlfriend of your ex-girlfriend. And head to your local drag show. What's a better way to spend the night than jamming to Lady Gaga and Mariah Carey surrounded by other peeps in the LGBTQ plus community? Nothing. 9. Hit up your local gay bar. Support your local queer spot while getting to know a local queer, hey. Pro tip. Go on a weeknight. These bars are usually less packed Monday through Thursday. Plus, the music won't be quite as loud. So you'll actually be able to hear one another when swapping life stories. 10. Go horseback riding. Yeehaw. If you and your date are feeling a bit more adventurous, try horseback riding together. Marianne Camaroto. Ph.D. A relationship coach based in Marin County. C.A. Always recommends outdoor first dates.
I generally recommend getting outside or doing something together where you can see each other move through the world. She explains. Oh. And this one is also majorly Instagrammable. 11. Do goat yoga. Don't like the thought of looking at animals behind bars? You might like the thought of letting them bleat at you mid-sun salutation. Behold. Goat yoga. A fun activity that involves doing a group yoga class while surrounded by baby goats. Goat yoga is a great first date for animal lovers. Adventurers. And yogis. 12. Visit the dog park. A lot of people go to a dog park as a first date because it allows you to meet one another's animals. Says Fleming. Assuming both of your pups are off-leash trained and good with other dogs. This is an easy pick. 13. Play trivia or bingo. Going out to play trivia or bingo is a great first date option. Says Orbach. Games are fun and lively and add some excitement to the first date. Orbach explains. You might even be working together as a team for some of the games. Working together for a joint outcome, also, creates a bonding experience. 14. Go out for dessert. Imo. Going out for dinner on a first date is a total cliché, but going out for dessert? That's a different story. If you've got a bit of a sweet tooth, grab froyo or another sweet treat with your date, brownies? Cookies? Just spitballing here. Better yet. Stop by your local grocery store and grab a pint or gallon of ice cream to share. 15. Go on a hike. It's wise to use what you know about somebody to plan a date that you'll both enjoy. Says Fleming. So, if you both listed national parks as a life highlight in your dating bio, or you've bonded over your shared love of Merrill's. Plan a dirt date. If all goes well. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to share a kiss at the top of the climb. Views on views on views. 16. Go to an escape room. I always say that dates that both excite and terrify can be great dates. Says Fleming. Escape rooms are something that allow you to experience both emotions. And most cities have them. Your move. Throw on your best detective coat and play Nancy Drew. 17. Play 36 questions. Have you heard of 36 questions? It's a series of personal questions that have been shown by science, really. To speed up the rate at which people fall in love. The idea is that these questions can promote mutual vulnerability. Explains Fleming. 18. Play two truths and a lie. Hot take. Organized conversation is the SH asterisk T. If you and your right swipe aren't able to meet up IRL. Fleming suggests planning a FaceTime date. You can gamify the virtual date by playing a game like Two Truths and a Lie or Truth or Dare. She says. To invite someone to one of these virtual hangs. You might say. Could I interest you in a FaceTime date this Friday? Let's both come prepared with Two Truths and a Lie. 19. Check out an art opening. If you and your date are artsy types. Consider checking out an art opening or gallery together. This can be a creative way to see how your date articulates the world around them. As well as how they behave in new social situations. Says Camaroto. 20. Go to a farmer's market. Strolling around a farmer's market is a great joint activity. Says Orbach. Outdoors. Fresh air, all great for a first date. If possible, she adds, grab a coffee and your tote bag.
and you're all set. 21. Watch the sunset together. I promise this one isn't boring. Watching the sunset is a classic for a reason. And better yet? It's free. The first date doesn't have to be expensive. Orbitch says. It's more important what you do and say on the first date. Then how much money is spent on that first date? 22. Take a sex education class. Did you meet on FetLife? Field. Or another platform known for connecting sex-positive singles? Are you both specifically looking for a more explicit sexual encounter? Says Fleming. Then you might decide to take a sex education class together. Do your research to find in-person and online offerings. 23. Play pool. Take things old school by playing pool together at a billiard hall. It really takes playing eight ball on your phone up a notch. Don't be afraid to get a little competitive. And most importantly, have fun. Lots of pool halls also have food and drinks. So you can grab a quick bite to eat afterwards. 24. Catch a performance in the park. I'm a big proponent of experience-based dates. Cohen says. Imagine a warm summer night listening to a jazz quartet over a shared bottle of wine. Live music is always a good move. But this strips away the pressure of committing to a full-on concert. This way, the more casual atmosphere allows you to see your date. Chat. And leave when you want. 25. Go axe throwing. Howdy. Partner. Don your favorite plaid shirt and show off your badass side on this active date. A boost of adrenaline also bodes well for your budding connection. Research shows if you're able to get your physiological arousal level up. You wind up attributing it to the person you're with. Cohen says. You feel like you're more into them. No wonder the bachelorette dates are bungee jumping bonkers. 26. Go to a yoga class. Want to get your blood pumping and body moving? Kamaroto recommends hitting up a yoga class with your date. It's a great way to find out how competitive, curious, playful, or open-minded they are. Kamaroto says. Yoga can also help nip those first date jitters in the bud, after all. Kamaroto's go to advice for a first date? Relax if you can. And trust yourself. Up the ante. Crank up the heat. And go to a hot yoga class with your date. Sweat out those nasty toxins and get your heart rate up, and if all goes well. Hit the showers together afterwards. 28. Head to a gin or whiskey tasting. Wine and beer not your thing? Orbach says heading to a gin or whiskey tasting is a bit more unique than going to a winery or brewery, and it can give you and your date a lot to talk about. It's fun. And you can talk about all the different whiskeys and gins. Orbach says. 29. Visit a botanical garden. Pop into a sauna of an indoor botanical garden. Or wander outside at a Japanese garden to get in touch with your inner flora lover. Your Instagram story will thank you. 30. Head to a winery. Now this one's Instagrammable as heck. Not only can you day drink in a gorgeous locale, but you can also snag a spot on a tour of the vineyards and fermenting facilities. Bring a bottle home to remember the day. Even if you end up not wanting to remember the date. Either way. You'll have a delish souvenir. 31. Take a bike ride. Considering buying a bike? Start with one of these. Rent bikes on a sunny afternoon and take turns deciding where to stop off. 
like a pretty park or a local coffee shop for a latte pick-me-up. As you pedal along, Cohen suggests checking in with yourself. Can you see yourself riding down the same path of life with this person? 32. Get afternoon tea. A cup of tea. Madam? Reenact Bridgerton or Downton Abbey and sip afternoon tea at a tea parlor. If your date isn't a coffee aficionado, get gussied up. Order some tea sandwiches and nurse a cup of tea over some scintillating conversation. It's a classy and sophisticated outing that'll be sure to leave a great first impression on your date. 33. Have a picnic. Now. A picnic might sound more romantic than it actually turns out. Have your way with the Whole Foods hot bar and grab a canned wine or two. Just don't forget the blanket, no first date my but is wet horror stories allowed. 34. Go to a poetry reading. Want to take things with your date to a deeper level? Going to a poetry reading is a great way to gain insight into your date's level of sensitivity and even their ability to listen. Says Camaroto. Now that's hot. 35. Go apple or berry picking. Depending on the time of year. Orbitch suggests driving out to the countryside to pick some fresh apples or berries with your date. You can still chat and talk together as you're doing something unique and fun. Orbitch says. Afterwards. Get to know each other better over some apple cider. Or hitch a hay ride to keep the date going. 36. Visit a cat cafe. Cute kittens and coffee? Sign me up. Bonding over cuddly animals and vanilla lattes sounds like the perfect first date to me. And? Since most cat cafes require a reservation with a time limit. It allows for the perfect natural end for your date, no awkward. Lingering goodbyes. Keep it short. Orbitch advises. Two to two and a half hours is ideal for a first date. 37. Go to a jazz club. You like jazz? Instead of going to a normal OL club, try hitting up a jazz club. Enjoy some tasty cocktails, delicious hors d'oeuvres, and groovy live music. And hey, if you're lucky, maybe your date will be into dancing. Two and you can recreate that one scene in La La Land. Where's Ryan Gosling when you need him? 38. Go on a boat. Row. Row. Row your boat. Gently down the stream of love. Too much? Okay. So you might not feel comfortable enough to hop in a kayak with a first date, understandable. In that case, a sightseeing boat tour is the move, as long as no one gets seasick. 39. Visit a bookstore. You can tell a lot about a person based on the books they read and if they comfortably navigate a bookstore. Trade recommendations and get a peek into your date's interests bookcase by bookcase. And if you're lucky, you'll catch a poetry reading. 40. Go skating, roller or ice. Your call. Rent out some skates and go roller or ice skating. You can laugh at how bad you're both at it. Or, if you're both skating experts, you can teach each other some new tricks, wink. Wink. For a first date, I think activities that have you side by side and moving around are great ways to start to get to know each other. Camaroto says.